ear. What well, I was ignorant as fuck. You saw you was straight out of New York, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ignorant, man. <laughs> no, just like I don't want to niggas. <laughs> anyway, man, we back. Another R-A-B. episode. What is it? Four seventy one. Yes, sir. Deeper than REOP. I'm just playing. You remember that show? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shit. Sure. Oh, we we got to record one this week. <laughs> Without a doubt. At least two of them. We got to record two of them. We owe y'all niggas. <laughs> we we going to record them Thursday. All right, that's a bit. <laughs> I, I'll pencil it in. Anyway, man, niggas back, man. How you been, bro? Oh man, these last few weeks. Hey man. But they hey, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? We above ground. I'm swell. That would make you feel better. Talk to me. Pay, pay the 40 ball. Oh. <laughs> 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 Why you think I got a smile on my face now? Nah. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm bullshit. <laughs> Hey man, but well, you might need some lotion, nigga. Nah, I was doing a bird my hair up. Yeah, bro. Oh, that bit did sound kind of hey. dry. <laughs> my hair ain't dry, but that bit sounded dry, bro. You did the friction roll, nigga. <laughs> yeah, my hair sound dry, bro. But I got, I got some lotion on, man. But hey, man, we back, man. You know what's crazy? Talk to me. So my birthday was last week. Yeah, I legit forgot that shit was my birthday the Bruh, day of. I did too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I forgot <laughs> until, until bro. I think uh, that like I think a couple of days before that I had a lot of shit going on. You know yeah. what I mean? But. Um, when I seen that message, I felt so bad. I was like, damn, it is this nigga birthday today. <laughs> yeah, I had woke up. Because you know you normally feel like it's your birthday. Right, right. So I just woke up. Like, I woke up like 10 o'clock. I woke up late as shit. I woke up late. <laughs> I was chilling. Next thing you know, it's about 11. I get a uh, I get a text from like, yo, I either got one from, I got one from Eric. They started rolling in crazy. Yeah. From like everybody. I got one from Eric. Then like, I think my sister texts me. Then my brother texts me. My dad texts me. And we just started rolling in. I was like, shit, today is my birthday. <laughs> 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 you not mentioned it on the podcast or something? <laughs> like, nah, nigga. I did not know, bro. That shit was crazy. Well, shit, you know, I was, I was gone last week. I was going to <clears throat> get a little cake. You yeah. know how I do, but yeah. shit. I'm a cake guy. Like, just for anybody that don't know, I don't need shit for my birthday. But if I don't got no cake, uh, nigga, we gonna have a problem. A slice, a cupcake, a motherfucking little remember, batter mound. Niggas old, bro. You used to, did y'all used to go to, uh, well, Publix used to do this, but... Food line really used to do it. You used to food line had the shit on lock, nigga. You know what I'm about to say, though. I know exactly where you going, bro. What are you talking? What I'm about to say? You talking about them uh, ice cream cakes? Well, we can talk about that. Those are legendary. I was talking about the free cookie on your birthday. Oh, I didn't know about that. You never know. Damn, you- dog. You making me feel like I need to uh, build a time machine. Yeah, you just go to. Well, we never was in the. Cause that's crazy to be grocery shopping on it on your kid birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds kind of fucked up. That would be. But insane. it'd be like a day. It'd be like a day after. Like I'd be shopping with my mom or something like that, and my mom was like, "It's his birthday or some shit like that." It'd, it'd be around the time. I'm like, yeah. Oh, here you go, sir. A free big ass chocolate chip cookie. They should do that bit. They do it in Publix. I'm jealous. When did? Well, we still. Yeah, when Dixie Food Line. But I think public, I think they give you a free cookie if you a kid in general. Damn, I'm about to start <coughs> kidnapping kids. All right, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> I got to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take that out. But I'm pretty sure if you go on Publix, I'm pretty sure if you go on Publix, they just be like, hey, let me get a free cookie. They, they, probably, they, they probably look out. Publix, probably, Publix fuck with niggas. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they love niggas, man. You hey, walk in there and be like, hey, man, let me take one of them chicken wings. <laughs> that I ain't that out of <laughs> they do do that. They do do that, bro. <laughs> I never did it, but I be seeing it like a nigga just coming, <laughs> bro. <laughs> they actually do that in Chipotle too. For real? Yes, dog. I, I don't been in Chipotle less. plenty of times. Somebody be like, "Hey man, how that new steak taste?" 
That's crazy. Nigga a fork or nigga just nah, nigga just gave that nigga a scoop and a bowl. Like, For real? I done seen that plenty of times. That's crazy, man. Now Publix, I fuck with them. The boys show you love. They hand you a piece of chicken and dap you up. Yeah, like <laughs> you like, I that new bourbon chicken take. They go, oh, here you there go. There you go, man. Try it out. <laughs> Publix, bro. I'm I'm gonna be honest, dog. I I forgot who I was talking to. It might have been Eric. Publix might have better like food than like soul food restaurants. Bro, Publix is elite shopping. Like oh, yeah. once I got into Publix, man, I was like, yeah, I ain't I ain't changing up, nigga. What Rick Ross said, house big as Publix. <laughs> shopping is my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> That's I fuck with that. Well yeah, Publix, like anything you we watching a Sixers game right now. Yeah, so forgive us if we're a little distracted. <laughs> hey man, Sixers. This sound problematic, but Six is taking these nigga booty right now. All right, bro. <laughs> That's a crazy way of saying. I'm about to edit that out. <laughs> we going crazy, but you know, you know, Doc. He going. Doc might trick this off, but it's all good, man. We yeah, he got a habit of that. Yeah, that's that's just that's his forte. Trick leads off, man. But Publix, man. Okay, he going. All right, let me turn this game off, man. Yeah, they, they bullshit now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the pie. <laughs> no, that nigga B don't know what he want to do right now. <laughs> what I was about to say, man. Um, I was talking. We were talking about Publix. Uh, yeah. Shit. House public. biggest Publix. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the goals. Whenever yeah. I mean, that's real, bro. I need a crib. I need a crib so big I can put a grocery in that bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had a uh, little garden out back, get my green thumb on, mm. and then put the fresh produce right up in there, and go ahead and shop for some lettuce. I want a curl so big, it'd be somebody living on the other side of that motherfucker, I don't even know. That, hey, that's gold, That's for real. scary as fuck. It does, actually. Yeah. I actually don't want a house that big, because if I can't account for every room, I, I'd be scared, personally. <laughs> like... I'm a paranoid nigga, like. Nigga, it'd be a room you never, you haven't been in that bit in two years. You just yeah. walk by, you say, Joe, <laughs> Joe. I put that bitch on the market. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no figuring out what's going on, none of that. Remember, All the memories gone. I remember that the, the market, the house market, crazy. Cause I remember back in the day, like on haunted shows, mm -hmm. like that bit would be, it'd be a ghost or something like that. And then they be, they immediately to the house. Now you gotta wait about twenty. You took 20 <laughs> months to sell your shit. You definitely do. It ain't no instant thing today. Ghost be on R words <laughs> by the time you sell that big. <laughs> it be that ghost. It be that ghost off Poltergeist. I was going to say, that ain't the friendly ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it be that ghost off Scary Movie too. <laughs> a big six foot ghost. A big, I thought you about to say a big sissy ghost. <laughs> That's the name of the episode, Big Season. <laughs> I was just fucking hating it. <laughs> that one almost killed me. It'd <laughs> be a big season. I think about a big season. <laughs> Bussy. <laughs> Bussy. Boo. Boo. That's funny as fuck, man. Oh, man. That's that's crazy. Stop what you're saying. Stop what you're saying. <laughs> I want that booty. All right. But don't say that. I'm not that same day. I'm going to be fucked. Nigga. I'm going to teleport out of that bitch. Nigga, I'm living on the streets, nigga. Oh, uh, yeah. You got it. <laughs> you got it, Gasper, gay Casper. You got, <laughs> you, you got it, nigga. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't fucking with you, bro. Gasper, the gay ghost, bro. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it, OG. I ain't. I don't want nothing to do with, to do with you. That's nigga. funny as fuck. All right, man. Let's go ahead and uh. Man, it's been a while since I even heard the rate that suit uh thing song. That? Let's go ahead and jump into this. Oh, we got the World World Wrestling Federation. Yeah, man, I ain't updated. It's been in a minute. We ain't do rate that suit in so long. That big guy, WrestleMania weekend. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't think I added one. I think I might have added this uh, Clyde uh, Frazier suit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Right. Let's rate that suit real quick, man. We got to bring it back one time. 
You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta go rate that suit. Arriba. All right, so by the end of this summer, I'm trying to get a suit tailored. I don't have any reason to do that, but I would like to, right? I'm gonna do a TikTok. I'm me doing a uh, samba or some shit. You gotta wear a sombrero. <laughs> Why that thing song going on? Or you can wear a uh, Ray Mysterio mask. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's All for right. the uh, OnlyFans. Okay, I ain't got nothing to do with that now. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. All right, man. The center rate that suits, man. You know, mail at ariopodcast.com. Mail at ariopodcast.com. Or. <laughs> What's the I think uh yeah, one on Discord. I don't I don't ever go on that motherfucker. They just you on me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, log into the uh matter of fact, sign up for the Patreon, patreon.com slash REO Podcast. Go ahead and tap into the Discord, get your access through the Patreon. Fuck with us. You can submit your rate that suits through there as well. Your real niggas of the week, they need their ass beat, listen to questions, All that so stuff. on and so forth. All right, man. So I guess we go down the line. Let's do it. To, uh, starting from the left side, uh, this nigga top dollar. I don't like the chain over the suit. Yeah, bro. That, or the tie for that matter. This monkey swaggerless. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, I I like the blazer surprisingly. All right. The blazer decent. It's very like I don't know. It's such a strong blue. I ain't mad at the blazer. The pants probably not the best fit with that blazer. The materials is just clashing over there. But um, this nigga got some T Max. What kind of shoes is this? Them some uh, Under Armors. <laughs> that nigga wore his wrestling shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that checkerboard tie gotta go. I'm gonna give this nigga like a seven, a six. Man, I'll give this nigga a three. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. That, that, uh, that, 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 that's a skid row chain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can do this nigga uh, down at the bottom with the tan. I think we're not tan. Lime green is a Sante. I think his name is Sante. Yeah, if you wearing a suit. I'm about to say Asante Samuels. That's a nigga from the Patriots. <laughs> if you wearing a suit with no sleeves. You a swaggerless monkey. Very much so, but I expect you to wear a corny ass bow tie. Yeah, bro, this nigga got on a sleeveless suit. They got a hot comb in his head. Yeah, the yeah. part. Look how it big bro, that nigga part is in that nigga head. Bro. That nigga got a a dookie line down his head. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put a backwood in the middle of that nigga head, bro, and just sat that bitch there, bro. <laughs> That nigga head look like that nigga head look like you remember Home Alone when that nigga <laughs> when that nigga Macaulay Culkin dropped it like a a hot iron on that yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Pesci head. He was like, ah nigga got a one of the wet bandits. <laughs> nigga, big ass part, bro. Yeah, boy, that part ridiculous. That shit got to go. Man, that nigga, that nigga get a one, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say a two, but I want to do. I'm gonna be honest, dog. When they got a suit like that, bro, you gotta stay away from me. Get out my picture. I actually, if I was Ray Mysterio, I probably would have kicked that nigga. <laughs> he would have had my boot on the back of his. Look at that nigga six one nine. Big ass boot on the back of his blazer. All right, next one we got. Uh, damn, why, why how my my brain not working? The nigga with um, uh, <laughs> oh, oh girl, my, my yeah. Bianca Belair. Belair, yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot. She that looking good as fuck right there. Yeah, she good Lord. Good. We'll come back because for whatever reason, I just can't remember her name. I mean, she looked like she'll <laughs> like forcefully give you that pussy. All right. Like she'll put you in a headlock. I would be so proud. Like, <laughs> you'd be like, no. She'd be like, <laughs> she run up the wall and flip over. And you laid out on the bed after that shit. She'd be like, you want this pussy? No. And then she put you in a falcon, bro. <laughs> Montez Ford. Damn. Brain. It, took me, it took me like 20 minutes. I was going to say, like, I know the nigga name from y'all, matter of fact. Yeah, the nigga not a, he not a, a, a lame nigga, though. I don't know why I didn't forget it. I, my brain just don't be working sometimes. Sometimes I be just remembering too much shit. My friend just lock up here. <laughs> um, my shit be rebooting like a PS One. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like the blazer at all. That nigga dressed like um one of them old Wesley Snipes suits. Uh, 
That nigga dressed like he be on an episode of Blackish. <laughs> nigga on Grownish. That's crazy. <laughs> He the, that nigga the villain on Grownish. That, nigga, <laughs> that, job, that be getting all the women. That's funny. What'd you give it this nigga suit? Uh, I gotta give it like a damn a five. He ain't even do the black on damn. black well, bro. So you giving this nigga top dollar with this with this? No, no, ass top suit? dollar wouldn't go higher than Montez. <clears throat> you but gave this nigga top dollar a seven. I gave him a seven. Yeah, you giving Montez a five? Nigga? No, 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 no. Because <clears throat> looking again at this nigga, that 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 tie is distracting. Bro, as fuck. you know, dog, they, them shoes is ugly. As you know fuck. how they say one of these things is not like the other, bro. These yeah. niggas, these, top, <laughs> these these nigga with these. These cone suits. Yeah, all of them except for Ray Mysterio and the nigga behind him because I can't see his side, his uh, tie, no shit. All right, so that's Shelton Benjamin behind him. Oh, you gotta Shelton Benjamin be wearing big ass suits, so just assume that's a big suit. Well, I mean, it looks tailored judging by his arm, so I'm gonna give him. I mean, he looking clean back there. Yeah, he got on the deadbeat dad shades. He definitely you ever does. been into a graduation and it'd be like a deadbeat dad that haven't seen their kid in like five years. Yep. They be that's how they them, wear them shades. They be wearing them shades <laughs> <laughs> so nobody could see their ass. <laughs> um, Ray Mysterio, he getting a 10 from me. Yeah, Ray Mysterio. Yeah, and the mask clean. Yeah, it, it was perfect <laughs> for everything. Um, I'm glad he got that mask on because this is when, because Ray Mysterio had went to the Hall of Fame. So this is the Hall mm-hmm. of Fame. So, I was watching like one of the behind the scene videos, and like the mask he had on, he had like a Louis Vuitton mask. That bit was ugly as shit. <laughs> and then somebody had gave him because that mask got diamonds in it, got like yeah, real yeah, yeah. diamonds, and they had made that for him. I was like, bro, thank God they brought you that mask. I seen, <laughs> I seen that shit in the case. Uh, when yeah, yeah, he it got inducted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I seen the picture brought, of the mask. The mask fire. Yeah, they brought it out to him. He was like, shit, I'm wearing this. And I was like, thank you. Because that <laughs> Louis Vuitton mask you had on was uh, oogly. <laughs> yeah, he clean as a jelly bee, boy. That's a 10. Um, who this nigga with the turquoise tie? Um, that, that nigga, Prince, stop working again. <laughs> that nigga dressed like he going to prom in 96. The, the other nigga from... <laughs> <laughs> the other nigga from Street Profits. I don't know. My brain not working at night, bro. I don't but know. Some, some, nigga in a, some, some nigga from Street Profits. In a big ass suit and a turquoise tie. Nigga, I don't know. Nigga, I don't know. Jaguars tie. I give Montez four. If I gave him a seven, goddamn. If I gave him a seven, Montez four need a 10. So this nigga got to get deducted. Points deducted. <clears throat> what you gave him? A three? Who? Uh, big nigga on the left. Nigga, I, yeah, I gave that nigga. Yeah, I gave that nigga a three. Yeah, so he getting a three. Montez four. You'll get a six. Okay. Um, Ray Mysterio ten. The nigga behind him. I like. I like the combination I'm seeing. I just don't know what kind of tie he got on. So I'm gonna give him a ten just off know, of that. I didn't know that they got some big pants. <laughs> all right. If he does, then you got all your points deducted. Um, the uh, bro, that nigga got some Jordan nines. Either that or some Timberlands. I was saying, what did they got on this suit, bro? <laughs> them, uh, the mountain mountaineer Timberlands. They got on some, they got some Jordan twenty threes with a suit. <laughs> I wrote you got what is on? What's that on his foot, bro? Them I swear, is terrible. bro. Those like some olive nines, bro. What this nigga got on with this suit? Them ain't the olive nines. Those like the that, olive bro. nines, nigga. Them the kick of the ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is this nigga in the corner, bro? Oh, uh, this nigga don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he getting a one. He getting a one and done. Hey, <laughs> nigga, probably like, bro, this nigga ain't watch so much wrestling. Why you don't remember no? How you don't know <laughs> not one wrestler other than Rey Mysterio, the most famous nigga on here. Hey, what they say? The lights too bright. <laughs> Life's too bright, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm free. What, nah, what you be telling me? <clears throat> this nigga got CT. I got CT today. <laughs> <laughs> that shit flaring up. My brain not working today, dog. <laughs> now see when I do it. <laughs> nigga, my brain locking up so bad. I'm thinking of this nigga TNA name. I'm like, it's Constance Quince Creed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he get a one, bro. That suit look plastic. <laughs> that nigga got on a rock, a rock and roll tee under that bit, bro. That's who look like when he walk and go. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> uh, you heard that nigga? Uh, 
Noon, well, I forget this nigga name, rap name. Uh, uh, he got the um. That's the sound of a bag. That's me getting a bag. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Man, I'm gonna have to uh cue that shit up. Um, but yeah, he get a one, bro. That song, at, I mean, that's who that is. Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods. This nigga had to Google it. He'll Google this this wrestler, but not no shit that I ever say. What's the, what's the other, other shit? Street profit. I can't. Y'all 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 be easy on me, bro. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Might need a, a cat scan on my brain. Yeah, this nigga having a remedial Montez. day. Angelo Dawkins, bro. What's wrong with me? That's big bro name with the with the uh, with the tail the, tie. Yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. Well, Dawkins, you get you get you get. And them suit, I mean them shoes definitely look green. And this other chick, bro, I think her name like Brianna Brady. Yeah, she could get it too. Nah, bro, them braids like they hurt. They they definitely do, but I tackle her big ass. Yeah, she like she had the, yeah, they're like she ain't getting no good sleep with them braids. Well, she got to lay up like Count Chocula. <laughs> <laughs> and she got that that vest, that vest Chihuahua. I don't know, but they definitely pulling her forehead back. Something crazy. Yeah, bro. Them, bro I know for a fact them bitches hurt. Them bitches weigh seven pounds, boy. <laughs> All right, bro. Let's stop for you getting a Don in this bag. <laughs> Hold on. What you you gave uh, Xavier Woods? What you gave him? A one, bro. One? Okay, okay. This nigga got on a t-shirt. All right, a man. screen printed t-shirt under his suit. We got the best tag team in the world. They go Bianca again. She and everybody. She and everybody. Shit, and that's that's tens across the board. All right, she got a suit on. So that's you tens across the board. Oh. She over there looking goodness gracious. So like I want to take her and the chair home. <laughs> Nigga want to sniff the chair. All right, bro. I just want to keep it. All right. What you gonna do with it, bro? You gonna look at it? <laughs> nah, man. Bianca sat there. All right, they're gonna sniff that bit, bro. They <laughs> said, put some plastic in that shit. <laughs> Preserve the sniff. All right, Rose so we got Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Bianca. You said 10 across the board? 10's across the board. I don't know. My dog, Kevin Owens, bro, like he got on the. Um, he looked like he uh he got on. He, he got his country man swag on. You know the suit, man. You know how I come on here every day and say I, just, I, I dress like Kevin Owens? So if I wore a suit, it looked like that. <laughs> niggas that don't. You can tell niggas that don't ever dress up. I mean, he look good in it though. He got yeah. it fitted. He look good. Um, but you can definitely tell he don't have a really wear a suit. Um, black on black, like I say, you cannot go wrong. Yeah, I remember he, he did a, it right. He had a gimmick on SmackDown where he used to wear like he was like the United States champion, and he used to wear like big ass un big suits and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, you could tell that nigga don't like suits. So you got ten across the board. Tens across the board, man. All of them clean, clean, clean. Yeah, I don't think Sami Zayn be dressing up either. Sami Zayn uh, blazer is hard. Go back up. Nah, go to the close up. See, I like that from a distance. It looks like a strong navy blue. When you pull up on it, it's actually plaid. I probably wouldn't have done a black tie with it, of course. But um, you know, they let white folks get away with anything. <laughs> Hey, you gave him a 10, bro. Yeah, he All get right. the 10 from me. I ain't, I ain't going to hold him. All right, we got the GOAT, yeah. Walt Frazier. This this suit is fire. The suit is fire. We got the, we got the purse, He got too. the Nimbus clouds right across the... uh the, the People sneakers. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, that's a 10, bro. Who is that he's standing next to? I don't know who, the, who that fuck nigga is. Yeah, he said, you swaggerless monkey. Look at my shoes. <clears throat> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga walk, he put, he got the man purse. He put that shit to the other side. He said, this nigga about to steal my purse. <clears throat> he like, man, who this? <laughs> Walt Frazier, he like the kind of nigga, he'll call niggas riff raff. He's like, who this riff, who yeah. this riff raff? Trying to, who, you look who, like he call you a nigga to your face <laughs> disrespectfully. Who let this riff raff in this in here? <laughs> Who is this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> don't he like I got a blade under this motherfucker, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, don't reach for my I'll, purse. I got the blade under. Buck fifty this. your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said that's a net. That bit like Soul Train, bro. At the beginning of Soul Train, yeah. Like, so that's what that bit look like, bro. Uh, Fire though. Yeah, the suit clean, bro. I got to give him a ten. Mm. And then you got a uh, a blazer made of blanket. That look like a, a colorful rattlesnake. 
Alright. <laughs> a fruitful rat- <laughs> rattlesnake. Alright. Yeah, you give, give him a 10. This might be the most 10 you ever gave. So you gave four 10s today. Yeah, man. Them them, them some nice suits. Yeah. Not on these niggas right Not, there. not, not, not on them. Oh, that's no, five get, tens. Five, you yeah. get Ray a ten too. That's five tens, yeah. <clears throat> Six, cause you gave Ashanti a ten with the lime green suit. No, no, <laughs> no <laughs> some track, some track man. <laughs> that nigga look like, bro. That, that nigga, nigga look like a big ass uh pear. That nigga like an auntie, <laughs> fresh life from <laughs> from addiction. He, <laughs> she two years clean, trying to push up on the young niggas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she like an auntie that got clean that turned into a dyke. She can't do drugs. <laughs> she can't do drugs, so she doing straps. That all right to all recover. Right, all, right. all right, it's been Cue another episode. Rate that suit. <laughs> you gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta go rate that suit. Arriba. All right, let's get into listen questions. Send those in. Hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail at ariopodcast.com. Somebody had hit the voicemail uh, the other day. They was from Texas. I'm not going to play it. <laughs> bro was shouting us out, but bro said his number on the shit so I can't play it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to holler at you, bro. I'm going to give you a call back, bro. I'm going to call you at an ignorant time, Sue, because you left that voicemail at an ignorant time. <laughs> so I'm going to call you at 3 in the morning like you did. <laughs> <laughs> So don't be talking. So don't get mad at me when I call you three o'clock in the morning. That's gonna be a crazy I'm, I'm call. Do, I do what you niggas do. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, "Don't be leaving no goddamn voice <laughs> bro, that three nigga, in the bro, that voice man came three in the morning. I'm like, bro, what's going on? Bro? I listen to that bit. I like nigga say, I nigga say his number. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ignorant, but man. it's all good. Y'all can leave it whenever, bro. I, I remember at first when I first did the voicemail, I had it actually connected to my phone. Yeah. So I was getting the calls at the same time, but then I figured out how to take and turn that shit off. Yeah, man. Y'all blow this nigga up. All right, man. I'm gonna blow y'all niggas up. <laughs> I've been watching um, Unabomber documentaries. All, all right, man. I learned a little something, bro. If anybody's gonna snap. Bro, that nigga the Unabomber used to scare me. You, you remember the Unabomber mugshot? Let me pull that bit up, bro. I don't know why I do that. I put Google. I already got Google up. Yeah, bro. The Unabomber. I was just looking this shit up because I said I've been looking at his docs. You remember this shit, bro? This shit used to scare me. Yeah. That mugshot, bro, with that nigga with the, with the glasses on? I remember, I remember seeing that bit as a kid. Like, I just... <laughs> my mom... Did your parents used to watch uh, the, the Today Show? Um, I don't know. So when like so I was getting in, when I was getting uh, ready for school, my mom used to say I always had a Today Show on every morning. So I'm walking out the kitchen. I look at the TV. I just see this right here. <laughs> niggas just staring. Yeah. They were like, he's at large right now. He blowing niggas up. <laughs> Imagine just seeing that as a kid. Be like, hey, you see this nigga? You see the scary bug eye nigga with these shades? He in your city blowing <laughs> niggas up. <somewhere. laughs> You're next. Uh, I just hey. imagine this nigga Al like, hey nigga, you right there, little kid, you about to get blown up too. See, I probably would have passed on that. Like, I just wouldn't <clears> have <throat> even thought about it. Um, what fucked me up was when uh, my mom had got an email one time after 9-11. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yo, don't go to the base. Don't go to Regency Mall. When I heard Regency Mall, I was like, all right, this shit fake. I was like, bro, ain't nobody blowing up. Ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody up. blowing up. up. Regency. Oh, stop it, bro. <laughs> it was like they got terrorists everywhere. <laughs> when they said the base, I got nervous. And then they said Regency Mall. I was like, all right. Yeah, because I remember when that 9 11 shit happened, they were like, hey, it's one more plane. It's about to hit something, another major city. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh, man, be careful. I was like, bro, they about to hit Gateway Mall, bro. I'm like, we're, we're fine, dog. We're, yeah. Uh, we're f- the reason they were saying, <laughs> That um, they was gonna hit Jacksonville was because of the naval fleet, but this ain't, to my knowledge, this ain't like the big. It ain't the biggest port or no it's shit not, like bro. that. So it's like, nigga, you go to Fort Hood or some shit like that. <laughs> Even though I don't know if that plane will make it. What did that big crash in like Pittsburgh or some shit like that? I think um, it, had passed, it crashed in Pittsburgh. <clears throat> now, conspiracy am. There was no there was no black box on that plane. 
Mm. And the bo- the black box is indestructible. Yeah. Mm. Makes you wonder. That's crazy. What I was about to say. Well, uh, we know what was set up, so. I remember, uh, so you remember the DC Sniper? Mm-hmm. You were so in nineties, they did they did nothing with like kick, kick, what they call it, kick gloves. They like they used to like go full in on shit like that. They were yeah, like yeah, they, yeah. they 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 leaned in on the paranoia in the nineties. Nineties. Right. Nowadays, like you see this week, we don't have about twenty shootings and like they try and keep it a little yeah. in the nineties, they were like, nah, these niggas lie. Y'all need to know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this nigga like so the DC sniper That shit was crazy. He was shooting motherfuckers up, man. You be like, oh man, kids are say he was like, No, they're killing kids too, bro. <laughs> you next. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> did not hold anything back. Watch it watch your children, you know, you never know who might get hit next or Yeah. It's like how do you Say that with a smile. Nigga, I was shook. I mean, I used to have to walk home by this open field. Nigga, I was. <laughs> it would be nothing but trees. I was like, bro, this nigga in the trees, bro. <laughs> nigga just waiting. He waiting on me only. The crazy thing is, they ain't know where he was shooting from for so long. Yeah. That nigga was shooting out of uh, a, a stinking Lincoln. No, he wasn't. It was like an Oldsmobile, nigga. Oh, I don't know, bro. That, that, that nigga, bro, the he shit. Was a, he was in a Cadillac. Bro, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what that nigga was in, bro. They say them. They say them boys was like. Uh, they, they say they were booty goons. <laughs> I think they were. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gotta be booty goons. But I, I don't think the boy had anything like any any. Say yeah, he was brainwashed. Yeah. yeah, they said they'll blow a nigga head head off and blow themselves. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, they said. That's let's, what they said. The DC sniper was. Let's, doing, bro. let's carry on. They said that nigga wasn't. They said that when that nigga got locked up, he was like, "It's a parade in some of my city." Yeah, that nigga was. Bro. That nigga was happy in prison, bro. bro. <laughs> 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 they said the DC sniper when they get that. Nigga I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> when they get that nigga he said this, he was like, "More." <laughs> <laughs> He was, that nigga said, That's not enough. That nigga said, like, we'll, give you two, we'll give you 10 years plus the death penalty. He's like, That's it? Oh my more. God. <laughs> I need some more time on that. Hey, man. Fuck the DC Stiper. Uh, let's get into these listening questions. This one's from King. He said, uh, King said, uh, Amp, I started watching wrestling again last year. Why does Bianca Belair get so much hate? She put on a great match and was getting booed by the Ricans. So this past, <laughs> all right. So let's go back. Well, so first, let's just address that. You know, shout out, shout out to King for sending in that question. I think he got another one too. Yeah, he do. So I don't. I almost had to start a dialogue because they were in. They was in Puerto Rico this week. I think it was in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Every time a nigga came out, the niggas was getting booed. Then Bobby Lashley came out. They was giving Bobby a chance. If they didn't chant for Bobby, we would have had to start a dialogue. But they still were booing niggas. Mm-hmm. And they were booing Bianca Belair. So I don't know. I ain't going to flat out just say the Puerto Rican niggas racist. But they love to say nigga. And they ain't niggas. Yeah, man. <clears throat> they only do that when they around niggas. Or when they want to feel tough or yeah. whatever. But they identify as... More like, on the, be like, I know block. Yeah, lighter side. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, that's if you were like a New York Puerto Rican. When that nigga fat, that nigga fat Joe said something ignorant. Somebody like, uh, he was like, I should be able to say nigga. I grew up poor. I was like, bro, that sound racist as fuck. The, the fat Joe is like, he is racist. He don't realize yeah. it when he when when. Yeah, he be saying nigga with a hard er on it sometimes. When he did that versus shit, I was like, "Oh, this nigga." Oh, he called his colors. Oh, he called them nappy head bitches. Nappy head bitches said, "Oh, girl, need to go back to smoking crack or some shit like that." that, Yeah, that way. What that? What they were doing in the crowd? Crowd that jumped out in the Fat Joe. Yeah, and then I seen some some shit. It was like a Puerto Rican dude. He was saying, "Cause Bianca, you know how I went, she be wearing the, the long ponytail. Mm-hmm. So she had her, she had, she didn't have a regular ponytail. She had the girls call it like a messy ponytail when the hair is kind of fray going all over. So I seen some Puerto Rican niggas on some 
She was. He called her. He said she was nappy. He said he said her ponytail was nappy. I was like, y'all niggas is in a crazy bag right now. But That's insane. Now Bianca, I try not to critique Bianca myself because I don't. I be trying not to like a coon. But Bianca do need a little work here and there in the ring. I, she deserve her position because nobody works as hard as because you got to think she she didn't do no indie wrestling. She came straight from track to wrestling. She's a WWE product. She didn't wrestle nowhere else. She never wrestled in the indies. She never wrestled in no promotion. So I respect the WWE for like promoting her. Like she's ours. So we're gonna push her to the moon. So we know she's not gonna go to another company. This is our star right here that we built from scratch. So she deserved to get pushed from that. But she do need she do need some work in the ring. But I don't make a big deal of it because there's been other motherfuckers that need work ring wise. Yeah. And they pushing them the same. There's been people that wrestle worse than her. But she do need a little work in the ring. She had she she getting better with the promos, but so I just leave it at that. But she ain't that bad where a motherfucker get booing her. So right. yeah, it is what it is. But as far as them Puerto Rican motherfuckers, I don't know. I ain't never been to Puerto Rico, so I don't know if the motherfuckers over there races. But I wanna thank their races. <laughs> All right, so this one, next one is from um Von Zarelli. Body more balls. Oh yeah, salute to you, bro. Yeah. I ain't got the cups on me. He has sent us some cups. I got at the crib right now, so I bring them. I bring them tomorrow, man. No, don't, don't shake your head at me, my nigga. Next time we do an episode, I'll show the X show the cups. All right. I'm hold you to that. All right, bro. You gonna forget, bro? Big shout out, man. Shut up. You got, you got CT. Well, we're gonna shout you out again when when I bring the cups. Um, he asked. He got two questions. He said, "Amp." Since you are a Jaguars fan, he said Amp because he know you're not a real Jaguars fan. All right, he said Amp, since you are a Jaguar fan, are you an AEW fan by default? No, I hate I really AEW. Wanna. That shit is ass, ass, ass. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. <coughs> he said, Joe, what's your thoughts on Rosenberg Raw? I think he's been cooking lately, but don't get the recognition. Um, I'm not I'm not too tapped in with uh Rosenberg. I have to listen to more before I can um Who this is a battle rapper? Yeah. He far? Oh, you say you ain't really listening to Yeah, him. so mm. I have to tap in before I can um place my judgment. Cause see I like the I like to watch about six battles, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we beating the fuck out these niggas. What's the score? Hold up. 113 and 95, and it's three minutes left. Jason Woo! Taylor, boy, what's up? Woo! Hold on, let me look up Rosenberg Raw. Is this a crack or something? Them niggas getting whooped in their crib, bro. <clears throat> Tough titty. I'm just assuming Rosenberg Raw is a cracker off that name. What I, I mean, thought it was a cracker. He might could be a nigga. He might be Halsey. <sighs> nigga, this like Scott. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, this look like Scott, bro. That nigga gonna call me a bitch on <laughs> Oh man, is he supposed to be like the next big thing battle rapping? Um, I've seen him. I just like I say, I ain't really listened to him like that. Yeah, he might. He might be an albino nigga. Is that Drake? Oh, I thought he was battling Drake. I was about to say, nigga, please. you know Drake want to be a battle rapper so bad. I don't, I don't know that Drake would have the uh, the same persona. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> if he was battle rapping, I fuck with a Drake battle rap. It's just like man, if Drake battle rap, he got a lot to lose. He got. Uh, I think he automatically loses. <clears throat> Who could he battle rap to where he has enough personal information to well, make it I'm worth a- the while? <clears throat> I'm assuming if <clears throat> I don't really watch battle rap like that, obviously I was shitting on another episode. Do these niggas? It's like every time they battle somebody, it's always like for sport, right? It's like yeah. never personal. I mean, not always, but yeah, they do get personal. Part. I have seen one where they there's some to where them niggas do not like each other, but they <clears throat> do it through battle rapping. You know what I mean? Oh, I seen they, one where a nigga, it was crazy. The nigga was battle rapping a nigga. He was like, "Is this your bitch?" The nigga put out a video. Nigga, he battling girls sucking his meat, and the dude battling him. He was—he uh, just shook his head. He was—he looked down. I don't like. 
Nigga, I'm swinging on you. That's insane. <clears throat> yeah, that's 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 crazy. Big pause, because I was like, bro, you just showed us, nigga, your meat. That, yeah, that's so crazy. Dope. But it was, hey, man, it was just like, whatever he needed to do to win, I guess. I don't know. I was like, well, obviously, if you're doing that to a nigga, like, it's not even sport at that point. Nah, nah, nah. You, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you despise nigga. that nigga. <laughs> like, you want this... You wouldn't care if you heard this nigga die the next day. I'm sure you, she he kissed her before the battle, yeah. and all he thinking about right now is. If I'm not mistaken, I think his girl was actually there. I could believe it. Mm. But yeah, they get personal. Yeah, but next question from King. He said, "What do you think is the greatest entertainer of all time, and who do you think is the most overrated entertainer of all time? Actors, athletes, musicians." Hmm. That's a good question. All right, so actors, most overrated actor. Who's the actor that you think is overrated? I'm gonna go with that boy, man. I'm sorry, bro. I think that I think that nigga Damson. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna I say think, him as well. Actually, I think, well, actually. think <laughs> I think right now for sure because he hasn't outside of Snowfall, he hasn't proven himself in any other way yet, and Snowfall. You know, I'm not taking away from his performance. I think towards the end, his character, like, not just did it change when John Singleton passed, yeah. but I feel like his mannerisms and such changed in ways. Now, he bodied a lot of those episodes, you know what yeah. I'm saying? The majority of everything. But I think that there were a lot of points to where you could tell that he still, like, got some yeah. got some ways to go. Yeah, and um, what I about to say? Now yeah, other shit. There's some other shit that he do. I like. It's kind of. He don't change his facial like, expressions. Like swarm, like his shit in swarm. I was like. Yeah, that nigga had the same faces he had. Little Reese there. meme. <laughs> that that get yeah, that nigga. All right, so that's overrated. Who greatest? The greatest right now. Greatest entertainer, acting wise. Um. Now the greatest. Mm, that's tough. That's tough because I hate that, that our generation like of of greats that we grew up on. Yeah. These niggas still want to act, mm -hmm. and to me, it kind of like takes away from their legacy. Well, if I say greatest, I'll probably pick like Denzel or some shit like that. Denzel. Yeah. Now and that yeah, Denzel is amazing. Like. Yeah, Denzel. He got a lot of the same man. My favorite, my favorite, my two favorite though. actors is Denzel and people shit on him. I like Christian Bell. Some people say Christian Bell's overrated. No, Christian Bell is amazing. Christian Bell is a phenomenal actor. Yeah, I love it. I love anything that Christian Bell's. I watch it. I'm watching it instantly. Sure. Uh, the one he did with um, Cooper Bradley. Uh, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Are um, oh, you talking about American Hustle? Fire. Yes, fire. Yeah, yeah. Like amazing movie, he he acted his fucking ass off. Yeah. Those are two actors that him and Denzel. Those are two actors that no matter what movie they they're playing, that's the only thing you're focused on. Like the, to me, Denzel don't give me like I don't think about him in another movie. Like when I see him in something, you know what I mean? It's not like. Um, I don't feel like like he doing the same shit. If that, you know what I mean. Yeah, he always showed his range. I don't know how to articulate it. <laughs> he be doing other shit. He do like we pull up Christian Bell. Like he'll pull, he'll play like anybody. Christian Bell will do anything. It's crazy because American Hustle, like he didn't even look the same. Like he like gained a bunch of a weight, ton of weight. Yeah, he just he he, be he all does crazy place. body transformations. Oh yeah, yeah. Crazy body transformations. He was super skinny in one of the movies. Like damn near frail. Oh, you talking about the uh, spell with an M? I think not mechanic. Uh, something. You seen Three Ten to Yuma? That's one of my favorites. Yeah, I seen that. I ain't really like. That. I think I ain't gonna say I ain't like it, but yeah. I, I like westerns. Got American Hustle. Now this is one of my favorite. This is my favorite movie, American Psycho. I don't know if I seen that one. You never seen American Psycho? I don't think so. Yeah, that ending though, you gotta pay. You like, you gotta actually pay attention. Yeah. The ending of it is like confusing as fuck. Like I had, to, <laughs> I had to go and watch like videos describing like the, the what's end. going on. Yeah, it's some weird shit. And of course, you got him, Batman. Uh, do you think he's the best Batman? 
Um, yeah, actually, <clears throat> I do. Like next to like I've 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 said it a, a few times that um, uh, Keaton, whatever his name was. Yeah, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah, Michael Keaton. If he, I had he's to, my favorite. Batman. If I had to rank, I'd probably say Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, then Christian Bale. And, mm-hmm. and the rest of it don't even really matter for real. I think I swapped those two. The last two? Yeah. Uh, Christian Bale, then Ben Affleck. Now, now, Christian Bale he had the best Batman movies. I'm not talking about like as far as like Batman. Because it, it, it was some parts where like. I get what you're saying. Now, now see, all right, when you break that down. Yeah. I'll give that to you. I'll give yeah. that to you. And I, at first, because uh, yeah. you said that before and I challenged you. Yeah. But I went back and watched a uh, Ben Affleck. As, yeah, nigga, don't challenge me, nigga. Shut now, ben, <laughs> now, Ben <laughs> Affleck, as far as, like, fighting scenes, he had the best fight, Batman fighting scenes. Mm-hmm. But these, like, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, those are just better Batman movies. Right, right. Yeah. Shout out to Bane. Psh. What, when Bane broke that nigga back, Paul? <laughs> nigga said, fire. I was like, oh, this shit, fire. Bot mine. Yeah, shout out to Bane. Athletes. I guess he want to say the greatest entertainer as far as athletes. Greatest athlete? Oops, probably. Um, entertaining. In, in, entertaining wise. See, oh. when it comes to athlete, I like ignorant ass niggas. Like, I like. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch was, was one of my yeah, favorites. Marshawn Lynch. I was like, uh, Adrian Bronner. Just like ignorant. Adrian niggas. Bronner was one of my favorite niggas <laughs> when he. Until he started losing, like, every fight. Oh, I don't care about that, bro. Just make me laugh. Yeah, bro. continue to, like, he's entertaining for that regard, but it I'm just not, got too ignorant I'm at some point. Lie. I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. You ever seen his video when he was, like, in the airport? And he was, like, in line waiting on some food, and somebody tried to skip him, and he jumped from him. He's like, I'm next. I'm next. One of y'all niggas going to get knocked out. I'm next. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, I like ignorant ass niggas that's about to crash out when it comes to athletes. Like, I like Antonio Brown, nigga. Yeah. Like, that nigga is like. Antonio rough. Brown does the dumbest shit. That nigga remedial. Like, that, that nigga, nigga bought a team, quit paying them, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga, told, nigga, one of the. One, I think it was like the team coach or some shit like that. Nigga asked that nigga for a paycheck. Bro, Antonio Brown said, shut up, fat so. <laughs> All right, bro, this nigga want his money, dog. Nah, that nigga gonna get a big ass lawsuit. Nigga, I like, bro, why would you buy? Nigga bought a sports team. That Did you even be. know he bought a sports team? Yes, for I a while. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently, like, they be winning championships and shit. Like, it's not the even. The team a- was before, yeah. Oh, not now, obviously. Yeah, nah. <laughs> that nigga was locking players out of their hotel rooms and shit. I heard about that. He had them niggas playing Hunger Games. Yeah. Yeah, man. When it comes to Africa, I like ignorant ass niggas, dog. <laughs> so I'll answer it. All right. So greatest entertaining athlete, damn. Yeah. Probably Dion for real. Mm, Dion. They leaving, bro, now. He got that school up in, uh, I ain't his school. He out there in Colorado, bro. They. They in that they hitting that portal up. They they leaving on Dion. For real? Man, that nigga done lost like twenty five students or something like that. Damn. But most schools losing students, but he losing the most. Like I think like that I think like I think I seen the Gators lost fifteen, FSU yeah. lost fifteen. Like most schools lose like even Alabama losing a bunch. Like yeah. Niggas, niggas hopping because you could just easily just go to another school now with this NIL shit. Yeah. So you could just jump all over with this portal and all that shit. So it don't even matter no more. Niggas is getting bread too. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm ignorant. I like niggas that's about to crash out, man. And ruin their career. Just to make me laugh. Speaking of crash out, bro. So um <laughs> this nigga, man, hold on. I gotta pull this up, man. So this was sitting it to me from Eric, bro. So <laughs> it's this nigga that's doing so shout out to Devin. You remember when Devin used to only fan, do OnlyFans reviews? Yeah. This nigga is on Twitter and he doing OnlyFans reviews <laughs> at his job. Bro. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 he 
So I'm going to put it on the screen. I guess I got to blur it. We'll, 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 we'll put it on the Patreon. It's a wild video to be on. This. Yeah. We're going to put the uncensored version on Patreon then. Uh, <laughs> For the public. It's going to be blurred out. So. Man, y'all be warned. <laughs> <laughs> So this chick, it's a white woman. She just catch all kind of nut on her face. Bruh, right? it's, uh, it's it's, it's Bruh, something she, I was I, did, I probably didn't want to see. Yeah, she got a whole daycare on her face, bro. It's crazy. This nigga <laughs> doing OnlyFans <laughs> reviews. This is like the perfect cum shot. What? With the lip gloss at the end. <laughs> Shine it up, baby. This is like the perfect cum shot. Yeah, nah, he's a sick Negro. This nigga, this nigga got his uniform still on, bro. Yeah, yeah. Full uniform. Look at this shit, bro. I think. Let me find it. Girl, she just... Those are some ugly ass titties, bro. Terrible. Bitch is like two burnt pies. <laughs> nigga, nigga comment under that bit. Bitches look like, like break bad. Like <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I didn't notice that you had them veins popping out them bitches like that. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I didn't know. I might have to use that. <laughs> send, send that to me. This is other nigga. Uh, damn, shawty, a throat goblin. Chewing that motherfucker up, ain't she? Uh, damn, shawty. Keep in mind, bro, this nigga is on the clock at work, bro. This is like the most unhinged <laughs> nigga ever, bro. Hold up, bro. In every video, this is insane. Yeah, that pumping, that pumping got them bitches poking out crazy. You see them nipples? And I listen, she's about to suck on that motherfucker too. I need that video. Yeah, that's I gotta figure out what he's doing, bro. Because from the, I don't know if this nigga work at like I don't know. I think he worked for a cereal factory. I was about to shit. say, bro, you remember them General Mills commercials yeah. where they be in a factory? I think that's where that nigga work at, bro. This nigga, this horny ass nigga work at a General Mills factory, bro. bro. We got, I gotta stop eating cereal. Yeah, I ain't eating no more cereal, <laughs> bro. This, we'll find out a nigga at the Apple Jacks factory. I ain't eat Apple Jacks ever again. At all. Ooh, wee. Ooh, we looking at them beautiful sunflower areola titties. Love him. <laughs> bro, come that, on, bro. That's, that's crazy, bro. Look at bro. this girl, bro. That's insane. Bro, this look like Jinx. You remember Jinx nigga, the Pokemon? Look at that arm, bro. That bit look like... That's a, that like a nigga arm. No, she arm up <coughs> don't fuck out your ass. Bro, you remember the Pokemon Jinx with the wig on? Yeah. That's what, that, that's what she look like. This nigga needs some help, bro. Two. It's kind of... I like number two. Number what? It's kind of short, but that's still my favorite one. What this nigga talking about? Man. See, all these videos be deleted, so it's like hard to go back. Let's see what this nigga talking about. They deleted because they too this. freaky. Like, oh, my God. I just had to comment on this. Like, shit, I love it when a woman sucks on her nipples. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga comment on the oh, worst looking uh, yeah. women he could possibly just come across, bro. Oh my god, bro. Them some nigga said. Oh, this nigga said. Oh my god, perfect nipples. Yeah, damn, them some perfect nipples. <laughs> Happy Titty Tuesday, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them is not the perfect nipples, bro. Them look like some cheeseburgers, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple more board and we'll get them all with the the sesame, with the sesame seed bun. <laughs> we gotta figure out what he's smoking. That's why he's doing this. Let's see what this nigga talk about it is. Them bitches poking out. Yeah, that pumping. That oh, yeah, we already did this one. Nigga, you remember you remember how Palmer Whoa, Simpson? Whoa, bro, his his page is insane. Yeah, bro, I'm about to get off this page because <laughs> I think the FBI about to come through this bit, bro. Bro, shawty, a throat goblin. Okay, we heard that one already. We might have looked at all of them, bro. We might look at this nigga, all this sick nigga content, bro. This nigga need to get locked up ASAP, bro. <laughs> he need to lose his job for <laughs> sure. <laughs> nigga said the perfect. Okay, we see this already. Yeah, bro. I don't know who this brother. What's his name? The Booby Tube. The Boob, bro. <laughs> Let's see if he's from Pensacola. Let's they see what he's from. The nigga. North Side. Nigga. <laughs> that nigga work at the coach. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Eight zero two seven zero seven. That's. I don't know. That's, that's zip code in Pensacola. No, nigga. I don't know where the fuck that's at. 
You're going to find that out. What factories are in this zip code? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's type it in. Command what? V, nigga. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> zip code. Nigga from Denver. Mm. Hey, Denver Oakley, if you watching, Denver. let us know if this your cousin, nigga. Oh, my God. This, this might be. i never seen Denver Oakley. This might, be Denver, this, might be Denver. this might be Denver Oakley. This might be Denver Oakley. That's like a burner account. <laughs> I've never seen Denver Oakley face before. So this might be Denver Oakley, bro. You're a sick nigga, dog. We, <laughs> we finally caught you. We figured it out. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, sick nigga, dog. We found that deco account. This, that nigga finna unsubscribe. <laughs> you remember how he was saying they had that 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 bathroom, the freaky nigga bathroom? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you you, you a freaky nigga, bro. You're you're a freaky frog. You a freaky frog. <laughs> you a freak nigga. Damn, dog. I ain't expect it from you, homie. So I finally got that nigga. Speaking of unhinged, bro. You ever seen this LL Cool J video? See, I remember watching this shit as a kid. This might be like one of the most unhinged videos ever. It's this, uh, the, I think it was called Who Do You Love? The song was. Right, yeah, I seen this video. <laughs> this shit is ignorant. We're gonna get flagged for this, but I don't give a fuck, bro. Go ahead, daddy. First of all, this nigga, the most nastiest part is so the nigga, hold on, let's fast forward a little bit. So this nigga right here, bro, he think he laying the game now. He got the cars, all that shit. You think he the nigga, bro? This girl not fucking with him at all, so. She on the phone with LL Cool J and whatnot. I thought that was Biggie at first, though. <laughs> she was riding with. She pillow talking with this nigga, man. The wildest nigga. <laughs> Alright, let me fast forward a little bit. So this nigga LL Cool J. The nigga in the, this nigga this nigga LL Cool J pulls up in a bike to get the coochie. Look how fast this nigga riding the bike, bro. <laughs> That's me on all over that Wonder Woman bridge. <laughs> what would you do? Hold up, bro. What would you do? If you think you think you that nigga, bro, you found out a nigga on a huffy bike took your bitch. Look how fast this nigga riding this bike, nigga. Pause. Can't wait to get that pussy, bro. <laughs> this nigga not even. Nigga... That's crazy. Nigga he was... about to pull up. He about to pull up and pass this nigga. Like, <laughs> look at this nigga on the bike. Like, who this lame ass nigga on a bike? Not knowing this nigga about to fuck your girl, bro. So I'm assuming, so this nigga L. Cool J, he pull up, fuck the dude girl. She got the lingerie on. She couldn't even wear that for this nigga. It's, it's, it's bad out here, man. So fast forward a little bit. This nigga got this nigga girl on the car, putting chocolate syrup on her on leg. On my leg, bro. In the hot sun, bro. It's 90 degrees. Isn't that L. Cool J put hot <laughs> chocolate on her bitch thigh? First of all, where did he get the car from? This nigga ain't just had no car. All of a sudden, this nigga got a car. Probably he her was car. riding in somebody's car, bro. So he got her, her on his car. He was on passenger yeah. side. So it was yeah, her yeah, car. Yeah. No, he was riding with a nigga. This nigga don't got a car, bro. Yeah, the nigga in the grocery store, bro. LL went inside, bought the chocolate, came <laughs> out first. <laughs> nigga said, You need a bag and receipt? No. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga ran outside. <laughs> <coughs> Looked at the camera and said, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga put, bro, it's like night. Nigga put hot syrup on. <laughs> None, nothing LL did in any of his videos was necessary. It, re it really, that nigga got so... I ain't gonna do that again. I ain't gonna do the hand gesture again. Oh, oh <laughs> you got God. the hand gesture. Niggas was getting me up out of here on IG. He yeah. <laughs> was calling me a sicko. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't think it was that bad. <laughs> but he got that one video where that nigga had the girl leg playing it as a guitar. Nigga said, <laughs> Yeah. Nigga had. 
the one of him like supposedly in the club is crazy like it's, it's got the blue lights and shit mm. yeah i forget what exactly he did that nigga was wilding though what's that one where the nigga was looking at like a peep show and the nigga was eating fruit <laughs> They're doing it, they're doing it, like yeah, doing it well, or whatever yeah. shit. <laughs> nigga had a fruit. Nigga, had, nigga was in a nigga was in a peep show eating a peach. Nigga, like, <laughs> man, nigga. Then he told us to call us Big Ellie, bro. I don't know, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. This no. might be the most unhinged nigga ever in hip hop, bro. Uh, it is easily. And nigga told me something. What he said? Giant cookies getting smashed in a plastic bag, whatever that shit is. Pink cookies get smashed in a plastic bag by builders and shit like that. Nigga's a sicko, man. Yeah, bro. We need to. Uh, He's a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever El Cool J passed, they need to look at this nigga brain for science. Though. Like, <laughs> open this nigga brain up like an apple and study this nigga. This might be the most unhinged nigga, but he he's unhinged like creatively. But the nigga ain't got he ain't got no allegations or nothing, so he probably. He I get, can't be mad at <laughs> nothing he does. Yeah, he get all his freak shit out in the videos. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Salute El Cool J, bro. Free bull of the century, bro. We were just giving him his flowers there. So, did you see this video with his crackhead? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this shit was crazy. So, back so back when you used to sell crack, so what if this would have happened when you, when you used to sell crack? I would have shot this nigga through the door. <laughs> bro, you not supposed to. You was supposed to me to shut the fuck up. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga would have got shot, boy. <laughs> Nigga was at that nigga doorstep, bro. That's how you know, bro. Had that fire, bro. Bro. Hey man, big dog. I need you, big dog, boy. Look here, boy. I need you bad, man. Shit, I need about fifty, man. Shit. I mean, I here, goddamn me, waiting, on, waiting, waiting to see what I come up with, goddamn me. I said, let me go see boss. Goddamn me. Shit. Yeah, I think you know, shit. You don't do that for me, big dog. Is it? Need about fifty. Man, it's too late, man, in the night, man. Keep in mind, it's 3 a.m. Shit, man, can we get when you off this shit, it ain't never too goddamn late. <laughs> <laughs> this, shit don't, this shit don't sleep. Hey, dog, this shit don't sleep, man. I'll hit you back. Man, 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 get off my paws, man. Get off my paws, man. Look at that nigga jaw, bro. Dog. That nigga jaw, come on out here and talk to me, man. Man, I'm in the bed, man. Man, shit. Hey, get out the bed, man. Don't come down there and come to the bed, but asleep. Man, wake your game up, big dog. I need one. Yeah, bro. But it would have got shot. <laughs> I need one, big dog. Man, get out my boys, man. I would have called my neighbors <laughs> through everything hey, in their crib and been like, man, hey, God look. Damn, look at him. Big dog. Don't turn on me now, big dog. I need you. Bro, turn on porch like that. Man, get off my porch, man. <laughs> Bye. I'm trying to get away, cuz. All right, big dog. I'm trying to get something, big dog. Bye. All right, big dog. I'll be back at you, man. Shit. I'll be two here in the morning. <laughs> man, this some bad customer service, bro. Just get it. Sell that nigga that pack, bro. It wouldn't hurt you a little bit. Bro. Man, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> you open that door and feel the strip of a crack in <laughs> <laughs> Bro, just serve that nigga that. Just had a gun in your other hand. Man, serve that nigga that shit, bro. It wouldn't have helped you. It wouldn't have hurt you. Man, yeah, fuck no. Yeah, I'm now I'm thinking like if he would have gave that nigga, he would have been back every night at every three. night with more people like cats, nigga. <laughs> hey man, so that's I what would, that, if I would open the door, it would have been a flash of pistol in his face. That's like. what this nigga get for selling crack. That's so good that niggas could <laughs> step your step on your crack, nigga. Hey, no man, his crack tastes like real. Exactly, bro. <laughs> you got the crack, big. What's the nigga name? Uh, uh, Mr. Biggs. Mr. Biggs, yeah. Rest in peace, Mr. Biggs. Yeah, you got to get on, the crack. Mr. Get it right. Well, come Put on, bro. respect on that nigga right, name. Bro, I said rest in peace, nigga. You ain't said rest in peace. Man, it goes without saying. That's why I'm going to take your Gatorade that you got in that bag when I leave out of here. Bro. That shit mine. Yeah. All right. I'm going to show you my black belt. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rick Ross said the summer's mine. Fuck, boy. <laughs> Fuck, boy. Two more times. I ain't going to say. I ain't. I can't say football four times. <laughs> 
That's a bad omen. But yeah, bro, the crackhead. I mean, whoever the crackhead is, I don't know. He probably got crack elsewhere. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else we got? Uh, hold up. Uh, what you call it, Corey? DJR95. He wanted us to talk about this. So this nigga Charleston White. You been watching Finesse Two Times videos? Oh uh, nah. So uh, he been you been he been walking around like at first I thought it was his son. Apparently it's not his son. He had took a little nigga in that's like ten years old and he like signed him to his label. He was a little nigga. I don't know if he was here this episode. You probably well you had to be the little nigga that was on live and he was about to say the shit. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. stop yeah. So Char- apparently he was on live and he was cussing Charleston White out. So uh, Charleston White had called uh, what the child service of Memphis to mm-hmm. get the nigga taken, the little nigga taken away. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I only have rapper names and street names, but I'm sure they're easy to find. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I want to make a report of child neglect and child endangerment. Before we get into those concerns, I do need to collect some basic information on everyone involved. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I just want to let you know that your identity has been returned and confidential by state law. Oh, no, no. I, I don't want mine to be confidential. I, I want mine to be identified. I want them to know I did it because I work with children, and it's an obligation to report something when you think children are in danger. He not wrong, okay, but... Name? Charleston White. <laughs> He's ignorant. As fuck. A-R-L-E-F-T-O-N-B-H-I-T-G. Yes, ma'am. Just like Charles from South Carolina. Okay. And how do you have a child? Oh, I, I, I don't. I got a video that was sent to me uh, that was made by this child online uh, making threats. Uh, there's videos of this child in the clubs at night with, with convicts, thugs around drugs and guns. And Granted, this does and happen, but this, this this brings character in the child. So Nothing wrong with a child seeing Guns uh, and butt naked strippers here and there. Make some girl quirky. On Charleston White. So just some of the things that he was saying in his video with the adults around him, and then the other videos that's surfacing online with him being in clubs. Uh, were 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 almost every rap event that these guys have been at, they've had shootings. Okay, give me just a moment here. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mr. White, are you familiar with our email notification process? Oh no, ma'am, I'm not. Could you could you explain it to me? All right, this part, uh, bro. Hey, man, y'all know I come on here and I shit on Charleston White every time. <laughs> what he doing right here, technically, is nothing wrong with it. It's just still fucked up. <laughs> he just recorded this shit. He and, ignorant. <clears throat> this is his. This is his brand, and people gotta realize that. Yeah, so it's it's pretty fucked up because this kid is with finesse two times. You know, this. I don't know how exactly the paperwork worked out. Because the kid mom is on live saying she wanted the kid. Because the, uh, the the dad, apparently the dad used to hustle with Finesse two times. The dad got killed and the mom was in prison. Mm. So Finesse, I guess he just took the little nigga in. He ain't do like no kind of adoption, adoption paperwork. Yeah. He just an ignorant ass street nigga. He probably right. just took the nigga in, bro. So he got the nigga in videos, throwing money at strippers and different shit like that, cussing on live. Told him something, the nigga, my artist now. So technically, what he is, what he doing is kind of fucked up, but it's just Charleston White. I don't know, bro. But the kid, niggas got to learn to stop cussing Charleston White out online. If you he, exactly, I don't think he do be going at people sometimes, but like a lot of the time, niggas just bring it on themselves. Don't take the bait. Just ignore the what they said. Don't feed the troll. Do not feed the troll. Charleston White is the fucking troll. Do not feed that nigga. Act like that nigga, that nigga the police. When y'all see the police, just keep walking by and just say, hey, officer, keep walking past. You don't talk to the officer unless you're Joe. Joe be talking to the officer. Joe shake the officer hand. Be like, this your badge number? I need to report something to you. So That's what you be doing. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say I, he didn't deny it. So it's true, y'all. This might be the episode I slapped this nigga. <laughs> it might be. He didn't that. He still ain't denying, bro. <clears throat> so when you see the officer, just say, "Hey, officer," or don't say nothing at all. Charleston White is an officer. Keep it moving. Don't feed the troll. Ask him what his badge number is. Ain't that, that what? Ain't that what you say? Yeah, that's what you do. No, no, no. You know it so well. 
You know the procedure, nigga. Talk, you know I don't like call cops. Boy, stop. I had asked Banks, the, we was on the Patreon, I asked Banks did he ever want to be a cop. He said, yeah, he wanted to be a cop. So, I believe that. So, yeah, we got cut ties with that nigga. That nigga I believe he wanted to be police. <laughs> that nigga a rat, bro. That nigga said, he was, nigga said he was about to fill that application out. I said, yeah, we got to. Yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah, you ain't a part of the team no more. That nigga wanted to clean up the streets of LA. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, I wanted to clean up the streets of the like, like, people like you. <laughs> but hey, man, would you do an episode? Would you do a podcast with Charleston White? I know I would. Fuck no. I, would. I mean, like, I would interview him or whatever, yeah, no, I but I, um, I don't even want to talk to that nigga. Boy, stop. You lying. I wouldn't know what to say to him. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I. I think I would just ask him like the very <clears throat> direct questions that no one else is. I think you you probably would be able to do a good podcast. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know what to say to this nigga. Yeah. I want to start off. I'd just be because to me everything that <laughs> Charleston White is against, he promotes himself. He does himself. He he he. You know, he's not a classy, like, he's a classless person to me. Yeah. He has no tact. Then he said the shit about R word and women and children. I'm like, yeah. That, that Once I saw that, I was like, yeah, I've never looked to one of his videos again, in, like, on my own. All right. Real niggas of the week, they need to ask me to get up up out of here, man. Uh, this one. Joel and B, man. MVP, MVP, MVP. Why you ain't saying it with me? Nigga, show some respect for your MVP, nigga. What? MVP, that's your MVP, nigga. That's all about MVP. MVP, the ugly ass trophy, bro. That new MVP trophy, ugly as fuck. I, Did you see the, all them new trophies ugly? I didn't know what the fuck was going on with this trophy. When they called that shit out, I was like, what's going on? Bro, that bit like a bronze vibrator, bro. That bit uh, that's ugly. crazy, man. I thought that <laughs> I thought it was somebody reaching for the stars. <laughs> nigga, that bit. They, I think they call it like the Michael Jordan Award or something. Yeah, sure. like, I was bro, like, that what's bit, that? But that bit ugly, though. Let me see if they got the Um The the, the funny <laughs> thing is, um It looked like this nigga going for a tilt. <laughs> Not for <Pause>. it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Nigga, hey, yo, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this new. See, all the other ones look like this, bro. <clears throat> and then they got the weak ass shit. They talking about something the hustle award, nigga. Get yeah, that, get that goofy ass shit out there. And now they doing the Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Western yeah, Conference. that's stupid. That shit lame as fuck, bro. Just <sighs> I don't get it, bro. Or oh, they call it a participation error. It either way, fuck all that. MVP of the league, Joel and B, man. I don't care what y'all niggas saying, saying he cried for the award. He should have won that shit last year. He should be a two time MVP. Fuck that big cracker up in Denver. That big it, cracker been doing this thing. Fuck, but man, fuck that big cracker, bro. He do the big cracker be doing his thing. <laughs> but fuck him still. He don't deserve to get nigga three. He don't deserve to get three MVPs, nigga. I mean, could have gave it to the Afri the other African, or the the Greek nigga. Matter of fact, he might they need to ask me. We'll get to that in a second, man. He goes, <laughs> well, you go ahead and do your real nigga of the week. Um. So yeah, yeah this girl, story? this girl was driving in the car. <laughs> they, 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 it's like a TikTok video. It says uh, me just driving in in a car, and a guy <laughs> comes beeping at me, then hops out and punches my car. Two days later, her fa her her father finds her uh, finds the same guy in Walmart, FaceTimes her, and makes this nigga apologize on live. This nigga look like he about to cry. Yeah, you can tell he was punching that nigga. He is crying. <laughs> oh, you can tell. And look at how his father just cool and calm tempered. That nigga in a collar shirt, bro. Oh, he was definitely choking that nigga. That nigga meant business. Bro, what's the odds <laughs> of him finding that nigga? I, that's what I was thinking, bro. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that must be a fun. little ass city. Nah, bro. He was on the he was on a hunt for this nigga, man. Yeah, bro. He said, send me that video. Bro, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga the equal eye. Bro, I had to go back and make sure it was the same nigga. It's definitely the same it nigga. It is. That nigga, like, he was crunk, bro. He was look at him. He holding back tears. Yeah, bro. 
right there when he wiped his nose, he wanted to wipe his eyes. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That frame right there. That nigga was crying. Yeah. <laughs> he probably beat that nigga. Like nigga, stop crying. Then he pat him on the chest. Nigga said, "All right, you you can go now." <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, leave. bro. I'm about to put this in the Hall of Fame, bro. Nigga. Yeah, that's real nigga of the week, bro. Daddy did what he was supposed to do. Yeah. That bitch say step dad. You gotta take that step off. That's your dad now. Yeah, <laughs> for real. All right, this one from Banks. I don't know what's going on with this one. This is insane. Nigga this cut, does not look like a real nigga of the week. They cutting up sausage, bro. With a fucking baseball card. <laughs> <laughs> nigga got an ITT Tech school ID. <laughs> This song going crazy. I got to mute this. <laughs> All right, so Nick cutting up sausage and shit. Um, all right. Is he like in a hotel? I don't know where this nigga at. This might be prison, bro. They they up, you know, they upgraded prison. No, that ain't no, that got oak in it. Oh, no. Nah. That look good. No, it don't. That don't look good? That look good as fuck. I eat that. That shit just needs some cheese on it. I ain't doing that. Well, that, 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 that's just like some raw. That's just a smoked sausage. You ain't never had spaghetti with smoked sausage in it. You ain't never had nigga spaghetti. Nah. You never had nigga spaghetti before. Nah, not with no smoked sausage in it. You I never had spaghetti with sausage in yes, it. Yes, I have. I I my grandfather say, bro, do it like I that. I say, bro, what's wrong tripping. with you, bro? I ain't never seen no noodles though. It ain't quite nigga spaghetti because niggas don't use. Spaghetti news. Niggas, niggas use like elbow macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I use the angel hair noodles. Oh, uh, what's that? That's the that's like string. Ones. Yeah, thing? the thin ones. Yeah. We used to use. I like that shit. Like we used that. to use either. Like my mom, my mom, she used to use the string one, or then she used to call it poverty when she used to use the elbow one. Nobody take that name. That's that's a family. <laughs> That's a family thing. I just said it on by by mistake, but <laughs> she used to call it that, and it's pretty much he used to call it that because it used to last all week. Like you make it when you impoverished, so that's <laughs> why she called it that. But yeah, that was, he used to have the elbow macaroni. I don't know why I'm doing the elbow. Yeah, like, elbow this nigga Joe. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Up and cut your ass. I think this nigga like in a hotel or something. This nigga like in a halfway house or something. Yeah, or this nigga like on. Uh, Nigga might be on like on the papers real quick. You know how like a nigga they make a nigga sit up in a hotel before they free him. Mm -hmm. That might be what that nigga on or something like that. Yeah, I don't know why that's a real nigga of the week, but I mean he made dinner. <laughs> yeah, real nigga for making dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I didn't even know you could. Bro, that meal looks poor, bro. That looks good to me. This nigga got two Hawaiian <laughs> rolls and two zebra cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you had the zebra cakes there, nigga. What a fucking big ass Gatorade. What a big nigga. blue Gatorade. <laughs> like, <laughs> Nothing says poverty like a blue Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh funny. my God, bro. This nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry. I eat this shit. This just need I that. mean, I definitely would. You gotta go. You gotta put. You gotta go full nigga with it though. You gotta put two craft singles on that motherfucker. Man, fuck no, little parmesan. If if anything, bro, who am I doing this show with, bro? Real niggas know, bro. I when, hope he seasoned the fuck out that meat though. Pause. Let's see. You can see. You can tell that that bitch got seasoning on. It. I don't see no seasoning on the table. He might have just put the meat on the grill. I ain't see no seasoning on the on the. Yeah, that bitch ain't got no seasoning on it, bro. I'm, I still eat this shit. I'm sorry. Not without no goddamn seasoning. <laughs> None of it ain't got no seasoning. Well, if it, if I'm, I'm assuming he used canned sauce, <clears throat> that canned sauce got a ton of seasoning in it. I don't know. Yeah, that if he used like ragu, that big guy. Even though you did still need seasoning meat, if he got ragu. That big guy sold that big filled with sugar and seasoning in it. Yeah. That's why I'll be like when people be like they put sugar in their spaghetti. I like if you use jar ragu, you that got too much sugar in it already, so you don't even need to do all that shit. Yeah. I think that's why I stopped using ragu. Yeah, big mama, your leg. I don't want that shit sweet. 
Um, next one from Banks. Uh, the boot girls are going viral and removing car boots in Atlanta for fifty for fifty dollars. I can tell you didn't watch last week episode. <laughs> <laughs> this one from King. It said when stealing almost goes wrong, like part two. Like for when Stellan almost goes wrong, lights for part two. Leave it, leave it now! Fucking leave it! Don't come back, my god! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was definitely a real nigga to read. I wanted to add this one. Get that motherfucker! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Bro, he, bro, he fucked them up. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Nigga, hurry up! Like, what are you doing, nigga? <laughs> he just can't believe niggas coming about. Yeah. I think he just they, like, <laughs> they hey, if you gonna go. steal, steal, nigga. Move, bro. They all pulling him out the car. They like. <laughs> It's like that shit ain't wanna crank. Nah, it was already started. He oh. already had the car on. <laughs> store people mad, bro. That's what they get, man. Somebody's still out of store. Let yeah. that shit go. Yeah, run it out. He could have had that thing, that blankety thing. That blankety bling bling and shot him in the head. And Zach is out. And, hey, that store, not gonna pay for your funeral. <laughs> they gonna be like, "Hey man, have you ever had? Have you ever you gonna need an angel?" <laughs> this is this is morbid, but have you ever worked with somebody that died? Um, I mean, I work with people that died. I'm talking about like, <laughs> nah, nah, like I'm I talking have. about why you yeah, working? No, 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 nah. no. Okay, this is one I had learned a long, long time ago. These jobs do not care about you. Always put yourself first over these jobs. So I used to work with this lady. I'm not gonna say her name because I think some people that I used to work with watch this podcast and they nosy as fuck. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I used to work with this lady, and she, <laughs> bruh, I worked with her one day, one day over. We was working overnight. Yeah. Next thing you know, bruh, she died. Like while you were there. No, no, no. Oh. We worked the overnight shift. Mm -hmm. We went home. I said, hey. See you later, cause we used to work overnight all the time. So I like see you tonight. She was like, sure. I get some texts. I, I so I was overnight. So I went to sleep. I woke up. I get some texts saying, "Oh, Miss So and So died." I'm like, "What the fuck?" I just literally just seen this lady like a couple hours ago. She like died. She went to sleep after work. Died in her sleep. Damn. How Bro. old was she? <clears throat> uh, I don't. I think she had to be like maybe fifty something. She wasn't that old. She wasn't old at all. That's crazy. Yeah, went to sleep, passed away. She must have had something going on, like a, a brain aneurysm or something. I never, like I, I never found out what was wrong there. I never really right. asked. Yeah, yeah. Was like, I'm not nosy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respectful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it was like the lady passed away. Like that shit sad. So next thing you know, they like Miss So and So died. Uh, so we got so who want to work her shift? <laughs> It just, just that matter of factly. Yeah, yeah. Just like, oh, she died. Who want to work her shift? That's crazy. Yeah. Then I got some more stories, but I ain't gonna tell them. I'll tell you after we get off. Here. <laughs> but I got some more stories. Like, yeah, these jobs don't give a fuck about you. Oh, for trust. For I know. I yeah. fucked my back up, and um, they was like, they were <clears throat> like, nigga, I'm barely able to walk out. Yeah. And um, they was like, no. You know you can't go to the hospital, right? Damn. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> nigga, one nigga. You think I ain't going to the hospital? Yeah, one nigga. He had like a death in his family. He was like, mm. so, it's hard to hear that. So when you coming back? Like, yeah. Damn, they, they just don't give a fuck, bro. They don't care at all. They don't, they don't care, care at all. Get your money. <clears throat> let it like work the job for yourself. Yeah, man. Fuck these jobs. You think niggas, you think that's just some millennial shit, bro? Fuck these jobs, bro. Yeah, nah, put a plan together to where, you know, you can stitch yourself up and shit. Yeah, breeze from that shit. All right, um, they need they ass beats. I got this nigga Giannis. This nigga hopped on Twitter talking to him, I'm tired of the disrespect. I'm coming. So yesterday he paused that, by the way. Uh, Yesterday he posted a picture of him hugging the... Um, Coach, right? No, he posted a picture of himself with a haircut. Oh. He got a haircut now like his rookie. He cut that high top fade off. Yeah. And he got a low cut like his rookie. He told him something, I'm, I'm back or some shit like that. 
So they posted that, and today they, they announced like the defensive players teams or whatever. And I don't think he was on eat none of the teams. So he's uh-huh. talking something. I'm tired of disrespect, bro. First of all, you got bounced the first round. Yeah. You. I mean, he ain't play a <clears throat> few of those games though. He missed one, literally one game only. Well, granted, he was hurt, but it's like nigga, it was no reason you should have. What did they lose? They what was they four one? Yeah, it's no reason yeah. you you should have yeah. lost to the Heat like that, my nigga. Yeah, straight up, I had y'all it, projected to win, man. It's no reason you should have been bounced the first round by the fucking Miami Heat. You lose the first round, niggas talking about some. I'm coming, nigga. Literally, you can't play until October 24th. So, where are you coming at, nigga? Pause. Where are you coming, nigga? He's not on the court no time soon. All right. The playoffs still I'm going. I'm glad you paused that because that was a crazy <laughs> run on. Like the play, the playoffs still going, nigga. <laughs> you just got bounced like last week, nigga. <laughs> this little, this whole redemption, redemption you got coming, Thomas. I'm, I'm coming or whatnot, like nigga. We gotta wait a long ass time to see you play. <laughs> another six months, nigga. We yeah. gotta wait a whole another year to see you in the playoffs <laughs> to get this. Dude, you ain't taking this disrespect, bro. Like, why tweet this, nigga? Why not tweet this in like December or some shit like that when the play, yeah. when the season in the middle? Like, I'm all for tweeting. I tweet my ass off. It's cool. I don't have no issues with athletes tweeting. But when you tweet shit like this, this is corny. Every I made a joke on here when Chris was on a podcast. I was talking about niggas need to shut up and dribble. I was joking, but then like. You see this nigga Draymond got a podcast. It's okay for I, it's okay for Draymond to have a podcast. Draymond is entertaining. Why do you need to do an episode after every fucking game? Right, nigga? right. You, that's that's ridiculous. Nigga, you're down three one and you potting, nigga. That's ridiculous. You're down three one and you you like let me pull out this snowball microphone and get this podcast off. Nah, nigga. he actually holds this shit. Like, <laughs> that shit. Yeah, all nigga holding the bed, bro. I don't know what kind of. Equipment. That nigga ain't got no equipment. It like he it like, like bro, you get too much money. You get way more money than us. Like, like why you don't got a four K camera? This nigga doing off the webcam and holding the cam, doing record that bit off like fucking I don't know. That not even Streamyard. That nigga like on Skype. Oh, bro, record that fuck? podcast. Yeah. That bit look poor as recording fuck. Recording his FaceTime. I'm like bro, why you don't have a do? You got millions. Of, why you don't got a DSLR camera, bro? Why you, why you ain't got a, a MacBook with a 4K camera? That bit look poor as fuck. You recording your shit. You, I, that bit got all kind of static in it. It sounds terrible. And you do these bitches immediately after the game. That's why I have a feeling whenever Draymond leaves, this might be Draymond last year with the Warriors. It gotta I think be. so, yeah. It got to be. Whenever this nigga leave, bro, that's going to be one of the main things they're going to bring up. They're going to bring up. We don't like how this nigga had a podcast after every loss we got. I don't even think it's going to be them. It's going to be the reporters. It's going to say that, you know, we saw the the Warriors sort of take a decline towards the later years of Draymond, and these might be the reasons that yeah. uh, alluded to it. He podcasts, and we know he be on Braun Nuts. Yeah, nigga hopping on a podcast talking about some Steph had a he's talking about some me and Steph had a conversation on court. He said he couldn't he couldn't figure Braun out. Why do we know that? What go go back to the days where we didn't know shit like this. Right. We shouldn't That's know stupid. <laughs> Y'all down two one. We should not know that Steph is flustered right now. Braun gonna listen to your podcast and be like, oh this nigga flustered? Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this nigga head off. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> wait till next game. I'm dizzy this nigga. <laughs> like, oh, I got these fuck niggas confused. Bet let me turn it up, bro. Damn, Draymond wasn't my they need. That's crazy. J- Giannis was my they need to ask B, but I had but to get Draymond. Let's go ahead and add Draymond up too. <laughs> add that nigga Draymond into that bit, bro. I had I had Chris Brown as a they need to ask B, but I we ain't got no good proof. They had said that. Chris Brown and his crew jumped Usher, bro. But apparently this has happened. Good thing this didn't happen. Because I'm going to be honest. This may sound racist. But if that nigga Usher... I mean, if that nigga Usher would have got jumped, we would have had to lynch Chris Brown, bro. You don't jump Usher, bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Usher yeah. a fucking legend, dog. How you jump Usher? Usher, got, your, Usher your big bro. <laughs> that's that's that nigga big bro that, for <laughs> I know, like, bro, that nigga... Bro, that nigga dropped... 
80, 8102 yeah. confessions. Bruh, like back to back. <laughs> nigga Come on, classics. Way, nigga. Come on. Come on. That nigga got so many classics. You don't put your hands. That's like beating up Michael Jackson. Bruh. If anyone would have did that, nigga, lynching <laughs> wouldn't have been enough. Yeah, bro. If we found out Chris Brown beat up, because you got to think he did all the other shit, combine all the other shit, beating women, different yeah, all yeah, that, yeah. then you beat Usher, nigga. Nigga say Usher the last straw. That's crazy. <laughs> Usher the last straw. How you beat up Usher? Like, nigga, how you beat up Rihanna, nigga? Yeah. You, beat up, you beat up Rihanna. We should have we should have. did what we had to do there. But he he was young then. He was young. That's why we but gave he, him the pass. But now he's thirty four. You're yeah. thirty four, and you jump us. We got to put you down like old yeller. <laughs> you're, you're a rabbit. You're a rabbit dog. We got to yeah. put you. We got to put you down like a rabbit dog. And yeah, I'm, had with it. I'm actually seconding that. <laughs> if but he didn't. Apparently he didn't do it. But if if he would have did it, we would have to put you down like a rabbit dog. I'm sorry. That's a crazy rumor to start though. Like for that. Right, well, that they happened. did. They were about to fight. Did you see the video where like I think Chris Brown was like getting at Tiana and then like him and Usher was like arguing. I ain't seen they that. They did one. argue, but apparently they didn't fight. Gotcha. But it's like nigga. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. I got this nigga Master P come they need their ass beat. Nigga talking some free mystical. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is ignorant as fuck, bro. Yeah, that's very ignorant. This uh, that that beat was classic though, legendary. Yeah, I'll stop it right there. All right, so they need to ass beat Joe. I don't like this one right here. You yeah, know I'm a Chucky fan. Yeah, bro. It says headline says actor Edward Gale, famous for his role as Chucky, was caught as an online child predator, but was not arrested because of his condition. Come on, bro. Don't attach this freaky nigga to the Chucky franchise. He wasn't, he ain't do like no voice acting. He ain't Brad Dura for nothing doing Chucky voice. It was just a, a midget nigga wearing a Chucky costume. Bruh. He ain't, he ain't attached to the franchise on some Chucky actor. Nigga, this, no. they like, they like, little ass nigga put this Chucky suit on, nigga, and walk, walk in a straight line, bitch. Hey, he was there. All right, bro. Man, don't put this shit on Chucky. Bro, this nigga definitely <clears throat> he deserves to be in jail. Talk bro. to me when Brad Dourif do some nasty shit. <laughs> Talk to me when a nigga who play Andy Barkley do some nasty <laughs> shit. God willing, they don't. But <laughs> yeah, but when they do something. That's Let's talk. Put, I'll yeah. tag Chucky to it. This nigga, this fuck nigga just had on a costume one episode of Chucky. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like when um, what you be call it? Sister got a got a uh, sentence for murder. Uh, Kai, uh, nah, Kawhi. Uh, so Kawhi Leonard's sister. They didn't say her name at all. They're like, bro, this nigga, this nigga ain't got nothing to do with this shit, nigga. Don't put Chucky on this fuck nigga shit. But I respect, I respect your thing you to ask me. Yeah. This one from Banks, he got uh, Jordan Poole. Zero points, zero out of four shooting, zero out of two shooting, negative six, man. There you go. Your Warriors, your defending champs. I think they paid this fuck nigga like $150 million, so there y'all go. That nigga can play. Yeah. I feel like he just, he get in his own head. That nigga be doing dumb ass shit sometimes. Yeah, he, be, he ain't got the IQ. They should have. They should have drafted um, Lamelo <laughs> over that nigga uh, Wiseman. They yeah. should have drafted that nigga. I'm about to stop talking about basketball though, because I seen a nigga drop a video. He was like, he hate podcasts with fat niggas talking about <laughs> basketball. So I'm, just, so I'm just talking about Man, basketball. <laughs> When I seen that bit, I would die laughing. Nigga would listen to shit. He was like, he was like, 10 podcasters I hate. He was like, he said something and the nigga said, me. He was talking about himself. He was yeah. like, me? I was like, that's funny. And he was like, number six, Nori. That shit happened. That was a funny ass video, though. No, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny as hell. But, uh, that's everything, man. It's been another episode of Random Master Podcast. Tap into the Patreon. 
Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. Slapped in. There you go. CTE. <laughs> CTE. My CTE flaring up. Tap into the YouTube. YouTube.com slash Ario Podcast. Me, uh, we got a bonus episode dropping sometime this week. Uh, <laughs> that we recorded yesterday. Oh my god, <laughs> man! This, this nigga Joe was going to war. I don't even know why the f- fuck I was talking to her about any of that shit. She was so prideful, bro. You're literally. <laughs> it was funny, but you were literally going into a war with a girl that literally prides herself on being a prostitute. Right, like I'm, I'm thinking in my head, like. Why the fuck? It, why the fuck am I going back and forth? But, but I just you couldn't could, stop. You myself. couldn't stop yourself. Like I you kept going, myself. bro. Like you just. <laughs> I like, bro, nigga. You like that? You was loving that shit. I just. I wanted her to hear how stupid she sounded, bro. We have movement. It's not gonna happen nigga. ever, ever. You you heard her home girl, home home girl. Like you was talking about that bullshit you be talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Her people around her know she no, was talking about yeah. bullshit, nigga. nigga. The funny thing is, like, oh. Um, she kept saying, uh, people like you can stay from around me. I was like, bitch, I would never want to be around me. <laughs> like, well, that's going to be on the Patreon. I thought that was a, it was a really good episode. So y'all see that later on this week. You get to see Joe angry. <laughs> wasn't angry. Yeah, that nigga wasn't angry. I was just, I was, I'm I trying to just, sell the episode, nigga. Hey, man. <laughs> That y'all be trying to paint me as an angry man, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas think I walk around like I'm Hulk. <laughs> Bro, that nigga. Just, Devin was slandering you last episode. Man, <laughs> I, <can> say you. Trust, <laughs> I got a fade for uh, Devin coming. All right. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's everything, right? Yeah. Hey, man, with all that shit, we out, niggas. Peace. MVP. MVP. This nigga green. <laughs>